everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make 꽃빵. 꽃, 꽃 is flowers in Korean. So this is going to be steamed flower shaped buns. This 꽃빵 is originated from China. When you go to Chinese restaurant in Korea and there is a all long menu. In menu, so always there's a buchu japche, gochu japche. It's a kind of a stir fried, stir fried with green chili pepper or stir fried with chives, with pork. And uh, always we order with this, gopang. Because just instead of eating with rice, we eat with gopang. So you can wrap this in gopang and eat. Really pretty and fluffy. I mentioned the gochu japche, buchu japche, but you also can eat with some dishes already we have learned. Something like stir-fried pork or bulgogi. You make this, so if you don't feel like making rice, and just make kopang and just wrap this with kopang and eat. Very interesting. Let's get started. Some of you guys always let me know that, oh, Mangchi, I followed your steamed buns, you know, steamed pork buns, but buns are not rising. I always say that, check out your yeast. The yeast should be dissolved in warm water, not hot water. So I'm going to really make sure this time, just for you guys to make that really perfect temperature water. First, half a cup of water. Half a cup of water, let's boil. It takes maybe a couple of minutes. So water is already boiling. I'm going to turn off and add one cup cold water plus a quarter cup, right temperature. So this is lukewarm water. I'm measuring three quarter cup water. Half a cup and quarter cup. Sugar, one tablespoon. And this salt, half a teaspoon. And then stir this. And this is active dry yeast. Two teaspoons. One, two. You see, once I put it this, just it look like a little bubble forms created around here. That means it's nice temperature for the yeast. I will add two cups of flour. Then mix. So this uh, dough is almost make the one lump. I have to knead. Before kneading, I want to wash my hands. Now just with my clean hands, I'm going to knead. Just one minute. You don't need to knead for a long time, just one minute. Now, dough bowl is here, and around one hour, one hour or one and a half hour, after one hour, check. It has to rise in double in size. So I will just uh, put it here. And nothing much to do today, because I don't need to any like prepare other stuff. All I can do is just focusing on this making buns. <laughs> so see you later. Let's see. Get there. And then deplate and just need another minute. Yeah, this time my dough is more smooth. And then cover and another hour wait. After that, we are going to shape and then be ready to cook. One hour passed. Okay, get 
at that. Wow, it's moving. Vegetable oil, about two tablespoons. Let's deflate. Wow. More kind of smells like yeast. And sprinkle some flour. And roll it out. I'll make a large rectangle. This is my rolling pin. This is marble, really, really heavy. <laughs> so, but you guys don't have this, still you can use it. What else can you use? Spread your dough like this. You can use the wine bottle. So this is around 13 inches, and this is around 14 inches. So 13 and 14 inches is a rectangle. I just made this. Let's add vegetable oil, just a two tablespoon vegetable oil. Leave it this around one inch, no oil, one inch. And then just paint with the oil. We still have some around one tablespoon left of oil. And then to make it more tasty, I will add some sprinkled sugar. From this edge and pinch just a little bit like this and roll. And here there is no oil, so we, we can pinch just easily. If oil is still there, it's not easy to seal. So like this, pinch. This is my steamer basket. Steamer basket here. This is my cotton cloth. It's I just wet. Cotton cloth. Just exactly center, I'm going to press it down with my chopstick. So chopstick, so let's oil this chopstick. Okay, like this. So pretty, eh? Yeah. I'll just put it here and I'll wait until these are also rising again. It rose 40 minutes. Nice. And we'll add here it's boiling water and the hemp cloth because uh, the water is boiling and then steam comes going up so water will be dripping so the surface of my buns are going to be ruined. 10 minutes steaming. Because all preparation times it takes time but just the real cooking time is only 10 minutes. <laughs> Done. Turn off. 
Oh my! Plump, plump. So now really, really hot. I'm going to wait just a little bit, a few minutes. And then just uh, let me taste. Eh? Yeah. Amazing, very well swollen. Flower shaped buns, gopang. We made gopang like this. Okay, let's taste. Okay, they open this. Unroll. Okay, there. Oh my, it's like a pillow. Okay, there. Okay, hot, hot. Let me taste it. Okay, roll again. Mm. Mmm, this is very soft and fluffy and also moist. This good, really delicious. And just we use only a few ingredients to make this really fluffy buns. Today we made kopang, steamed flower-shaped buns. You can keep this in the freezer when it's still fluffy, or just after it cooling down, and when you need it, and then just you steam. Again, so steam around 10 minutes and then it will be fluffy like this again. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to make something delicious that you can eat with this. And meanwhile, you just make many, many batches and enjoy yourself. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.